Welcome to clickmyproject.com Now we will discuss about implementation of self-organization approach to background subtraction for visual surveillance. Visual surveillance is a very active usage area in computer vision thanks to rapidly increasing number of surveillance cameras that leads to a strong demand of automatic processing method for their output. The scientific challenge is to devices and implement automatic system able to detect and track moving objects and interpret their activities and behavior. The need is strongly felt worldwide, not only by private companies but also by governments and public institutions with the aim of increasing people's safety and service efficiency. The usual approach to moving objects reduction is through background disruption. That consists in maintaining an up-to-date model of the background directing moving objects and those that devi deviate from such a model compared to the other approaches. This approach is computationally affordable for real-time application. The main problem is it is sensitivity to dynamic scene changes and the configured need for the background model adaptation via background maintenance. Such problem is known to be significant and difficult. Some of the well known issues in background maintenance that will be specifically addressed in the sequel include light changes. The background model should adapt to the gradual illumination changes. The background model should include changing the background that is not of interest for visible surveillance. The background model should include the so shadow cast by moving objects that apparently behave itself moving. In order to have a more accurate detection of the moving object shape, the background model should be properly stepped up even in the absence of a complete and static free of moving objects training set at beginning of the sequence. Moving objects should be detected even if their chromatic features are similar to this of background model. Our approach to moving object detection is based on the background model automatically generated by a self-organization method without prior knowledge about the individual. The idea consists in adapting biologically inspired method for moving object detection where visual attendance mechanisms are used to help detecting objects that keep the user's attendance in accordance with the set of predefined features such as gray level motion and the safety. It will be given by quality and quantitative results that the out adaptive model can cope with all above mentioned issues for background subtraction. The proposed approach can handle seams and capital of stage has no boost stripping illumination can include into the background model shadows cast by moving objects and achieves robust detection for different types of videos taken with stationary cameras. We compare our method with other modeling techniques and report experimental results both in terms of detection accuracy in terms of processing speed for color video sequence that represents an typically switch reaction critical for video surveillance system. Here we use two different types of algorithms for exact the background. One is the self-organizing approach, background subtraction is the SCSOPS and another one is the paperwork of SOPS, self-organizing background subtraction. And finally we compare the both and which one is the best for background subtraction. It is the flow diagram for our proposed work. In this flow diagram, first we give the input video. The input video is our given video and the video will be converted to the frame. Here the frame converted is a process to convert the videos into set of images and then set the initial frame. The initial frame is helps to identify the background and forward easily and then extract the neural map from the character input frame and then load the second frame for subtraction background. Here the second frame also the neural map will be structured and then counting the neighbor co present structure will be identified for identifying the minimum distance maintained. If the, the neural map will be minimum distance compared to the 
blotted frame and diffusing frame if it is acting as a background or else it is go to the foreground for the images and then the value will be checked and store the background and foreground by the nearest value and then update the values and then we again to select the another frame for the process to make it again and again so finally the video get in the background the fraction as well now we going to demo of our process first open the matlab source code and right click the main.m and then run the file and then the process guy will be open first browse the input video from the dataset now the video will be reader and then converted to frame here the frame conversion will be processed and also the frame will be counted here there are 46 frames to be done here after convert the rg to hsp for each frame here we select the first image and then we extract the q saturation and also the value from the hsp image here the rgb will be converted to the hsp transformation it is a selected frame and then first we initial the weighted vector by using this selected frames and it is the vector vector of q image and it is the vector vector of saturation and it is the vector vector of v the weighted vectors are extracted then we train the neural network for getting the background by easy way the neural network will be training and it is the graph for neural network training and the train and the validation and test will be the same so the performance of our process will be the 0 0.09 as percentage now we go to extract the background by using the SOPS algorithm and here the process will be taking some more time and it will be extract the background at desired level and here the background subtractions will be running and it is the background subtraction image of SOPS and the background subtraction will be done by SOPS algorithm the SOPS algorithm will be the existing method now we go into our proposed method SC SOP algorithm for background subtraction and compare to the existing one now we extract the background subtraction by using the SC SOP and it is the background subtraction of SC SOPS and it will take some more time for the process and then visually compare the both SOPS and SC SOPS algorithm the SC SOPS algorithm will be extract the background at a very well accurate level because the SC SOPS working with based on the neural network classification so the classifier correctly classify the background and foreground with desired level and now now click the analysis button to find out the performance of our classifier now our classifier will be getting the 92 percentage accuracy work and it will be so in the ROC curve also now it is the accuracy of the classifier is 92 percentage and sensitivity of the classifier is 0.96 percentage and the specificity of the classifier is 0.88 percentage thank you